Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Friday the 4th of May. And as usual on Friday, I've picked a potential long on a weekly time frame, so a longer term swing. And so we can start to build that part of our portfolio. It's great day trading, intraday or swing trading off the daily time frame. Uh, but you need some stability in your trades and longer term swings off the weekly time frame provide that so very quickly in our members area just to remind you um, our members get both long and short signals every day two specific strategies long fifth wave trades on the weekly daily and the 60 minute time frame short fifth wave trades on the weekly daily six minute time frame and then new to our members area is that are the stochastic long trades and the stochastic short trades now these are intraday time frames on the 15 30 and 60 minute time frames but today I want to look at the long fifth wave trades and in particular the weekly time frame so our members just go into each section click on the image and download the spreadsheet so let's have a look at the spreadsheet for today so this are this is the potential long fifth wave trades on the weekly time frame okay for today so we can see we've got Marvel in there Citigroup and I've chosen TTWO on the weekly time frame as an example to show you how to set this type of trade up so let's have a look at the chart so I've zoomed out a long way on this one back to 2014 TTWO really nice long trend but uh, we've isolated the wave count back here in 2014 see it was all corrective and quite flat then we started to move up and our Elliott wave indicator suite from wave 5 trade this is the ninja trader version by the way it is available for think or swim trade station and multi charts so now our indicator suite, once we've isolated the start of this trend, really uh, automatically um, highlights where the wave count is. The one, the two, the three, the four. Uh, we also have this 535 oscillated down at the bottom. I'll talk about that in a minute. And also a special false breakout stochastic at the bottom. I just want to give you that overview of that weekly chart to see how this has grown. And just recently, we've had the deepest pullback in this stock since 2014 on the weekly chart and we've come away from that so now there's an opportunity to go long on TTWO so let's zoom in a little bit here and talk a little bit more about the signal and how we're going to set this uh, investment up really it's a, it's a longer term swing on a weekly time frame so you need to be buying physical stocks in this really okay so first of all on the stock signal membership we get some filters on those signals so one of them is the 535 oscillator now this needs to pull back between 19 140 percent of the highest point on the way three which it has done so here we also have this false breakout stochastic these yellow dots denote a very strong bullish trend which you've just seen now what's happened is it's pulled back against that trend and the likelihood is it wants to return to that main strong bullish trend so those are two good indicators on our Elliott wave indicator suite but we've also included those in the membership signals the third filter that we have is this wave 4 pullback into our automated probability zone so the wave 4 is pulled back into the green zone and that's an 85 percent probability if that finds support there it will go on and make a new wave 5 high into our automated target zone up here in blue and that's around about 140 dollars so once we've got that pullback once we've identified the high probability pullback and we're going to go for that fifth wave trade which is the highest probability trade in a trend we look for an entry so <clears throat> we this is the weekly bar we're talking friday the 4th of may here so we're going to end this week we have pulled back slightly it's quite a negative day in the markets yesterday although it did bounce towards the end of the day yesterday and pretty close pretty much flat so it was a good recovery so now we've got to look for an entry strategy so first of all the first thing we do is put the stop loss in we need to go just below the wave for low there so I've gone around about nine the, the low is 92.81 so we need to be about 92.71 um, because it's quite an expensive stock we need about 10 cents gap there for our stop loss entry I've gone above the high of this week 
because the high of this week is also outside of the 6-4 moving average high for this week's bar position and most likely when we get the trigger next week's bar position. The 6-4 moving average high is part of our Elliott Wave indicator, so it's a special moving average which takes the highs of the last six days and moves them over, the average of the highs of the last six days and moves them over by four days. So it gives us that sort of more, not more predictive, but it's an advance of that moving average so we can use it as a conservative entry strategy. So 111.09 is my entry for TTWO. I very much doubt that will trigger today on Friday, most likely next week. But we have had a good one, two, three, four weeks moving away from this support zone. So it's looking good that the momentum is starting to build again. So 111.09 is the entry. And then the target is about $140. So as you can see there, we've got a nice risk to reward of 1 to 1.6 there. Now, on the weekly time frame, you usually are looking about 20 weeks for it to hit target. Now, it doesn't always do that. Sometimes it goes there in seven weeks. It really, really just depends on how the markets are behaving. But this has been the deepest pullback since 2014 on TTWO. It's found good support. It's starting to move away. Everything's stacking up with our indicator suite, so it's looking good for a long at 111.09. Do not enter early because if it does fail and come back down, there could be a deeper wave four pullback. But coming outside of that 6 4 moving average gives it a really good chance uh, to go for that $140 target. So that's it for today and this week. Have a great trading day, and I'll speak to you all next week.